I feel like something bad is going to happen to me. It has already happened, but it hasn't reached me yet. Oh, there it is. Welcome to Peppers Glowworms. All right, no more stalling for time. This is a specimen of my chili pepper breeding line, Ahi Charipa Strain Zero, uh, Generation F3. And this particular individual, uh, I think, uh, was planted even two, two uh, seeded out uh, two years ago. I didn't produce any fruits, was late in the season. Um, the next season was also a bit weird, but now it finally has produced some fruits. But um, yeah, my goal of my chili pepper breeding program is to produce a small fruited super hot chili pepper so regardless of how they taste or how hot they are they are definitely too big uh, for my purposes um, so something bad is going to happen or has already happened uh, definitely but maybe something more uh, uh, let's say um, Mm, tangible <laughs> is also going to happen mm, which, um, well maybe if it's really really super hot uh, I will consider breeding this one into my other breeding lines and maybe the fruits will uh, shrink again uh, the ancestor of um, this um, the F2 generation plant from which this one is derived, I think it was had received, had received the nickname Ghostfire and the fruits were a bit bigger than I hoped for, but not this big, I think. Um, but uh, yeah, let's just... Um, should quit, uh, quit rambling. Um, uh, it's been a long, long time since I ate a super hot uh, chili pepper, so... Hmm. I have prepared in the usual way, ate uh, lots of oats and fatty milk and some uh, noodles with a very creamy sauce. Should have the foundations in my belly to protect me from the heat. And I think this one was the first to ripen, um, possibly, but it's also a smaller one. So it wouldn't be uh, such a huge bolus of heat. Um, just get it over with. Yeah, the fruits look nothing special. A tiny hint of a stinger, if you want to call it that. Some more, some less. A bit wrinkly, but uh, not excessively so. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Oh. A burst of sweetness and some tiny pricks of heat from the spray very soft sweet maybe a, a hint of bitterness some seeds and the heat is building Sp spreading to my lips Hmm. Definitely a slow build-up of heat. Oh no, it's firing up more. <coughs> oh, ah, it keeps on firing. Oh. Mm. 
so far no pain from my belly but the pain in my mouth is increasing but mm, mm, I'd say barely above habanero so far a little bit more than a standard habanero maybe um, again just my subjective feeling of it maybe it feels twice as hot maybe like a habanero but then <coughs> But then I haven't eaten habanero very often, mostly <coughs> dried and candied. Yeah, maybe two or three times hotter. Or more like two times. But it's um, a nice, strong heat and localized entirely almost where I chewed yeah I think I've had peppers of this heat in my breeding line already so it's not a would not be a huge loss if I do that would not breed any further with this one Still have some other specimens of this generation and breeding line, but this one is so far the only that has produced some fruits. Yeah, definitely a good taste, a pleasant heat, not quite the super heat that I'm hoping and aiming for, but um, too big anyway for my purposes. But I will not disregard it so far and I will try some of the other fruits, maybe. So, <clears throat> maybe I should rate it. Um, in the last video I tasted my good luck chili pepper bad ones um, outside of the contest, so to speak. Um, but this one, mm, taste? Yeah, let's say um, an 8 of 10, out of 10 uh, heat. Mm -hmm. Seven or eight? Let's say seven. A seven out of ten, just my subjective feeling. Um, yeah, the heat in the mouth. That's what I'm referring to. In the belly is still almost nothing, but then I did prepare very well. Um, mm, yeah. Oh, it has a really nice aftertaste. Mm. Definitely at least an 8, but no, not more. Nice. Mm -hmm. Too bad your fruits are too big. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, I will make a little update if um, the situation further down in my gastrointestinal tract should uh, become worse. Sure, you need something like this as an update. Uh, very, very relevant in information for you. But um, I'm confident that I will be fine. Now the heat in my mouth is mm, definitely dying down. Just a nice little after tingle from the heat. So that's also something that I want. A burst of heat and then um, it should subside rather quickly also. Yeah. Well, the heat level that I'm aiming for is one that I should definitely force me to seek out some milk or something like that. I have it right there, but I don't feel like I would be needing it or some ice cream. But you do not make me eat ice cream, so I will have to go on a run again to be allowed to consume ice cream. Okay. Okay, I, um, I definitely, <clears throat> as soon as I uh, switched off the video and got up, it started to hurt more in my belly. And I feel, you know, this little feeling when the spit collects in your mouth and you feel like you might have to vomit. So I guess it's harder than I thought. And I have already 
consume some milk and I will have to consume some more milk now. So heat in the belly. Nine maybe. Well the vomit threshold is almost reached. So far I have never vomited vomited from eating ch or chili peppers. But you know sometimes gotta be the first. But it felt bad um more. I have had worse um, near vomit burns in my belly, so I guess I will still be fine, but I definitely have to consume some milk. So off we go. Sorry, but you're still too big with your fruits. Hmm.